Anime fans have been anticipating a new season of ReZero for nearly four years now, and with the first core just about over on September 30th, I think it's finally time to talk about the second season of ReZero. There's a lot to talk about going on about season two of ReZero, starting life in another world, but today I want to focus on one character in particular, this being Satella, everybody's worst enemy. In the series, the Witch of Envy is infamous among the citizens of Lagunica. This is because she swallowed the other six witches of sin along with half of the world. She caused a lot of pain for the kingdom, pain that is still being felt in the current timeline. So much as mentioning the witch's name in public could be viewed as treason. She was also a half-elf, which is what caused the rift between demi-humans and humans. This is what Amelia is fighting to fix, but it's proving to be a difficult task. The Witch of Envy has also been shown to be fond of Subaru. She was the one who summoned Subaru to her world in the first place. This has also been shown through the power that she bestowed upon him. At this moment though, it's not fully clear as to why she has these feelings towards him. So here are some things that you should know about Satella, the Witch of Evil. Satella, also known as the Witch of Envy, is the main antagonist of the 2014 Japanese dark fantasy light novel series, ReZero, starting life in another world, but we already knew that. Satella is voiced by Ria Takahashi in the Japanese version of the anime, and by Kaylee Mills in the English version. Both Takahashi and Mills also voice the main heroine Amelia in their respective versions. Satella is the Witch of Envy and the one responsible for the Great Calamity that took place 400 years before Subaru's arrival. She is currently sealed off in the Evil Sealing Stone Shrine and the Ariga Sand Dunes. Satella, according to legend, was a half-human, half-elf, demi-human woman with silver hair and eyes that were amethyst, with a bluish tint to them. As a half-elf, Satella's ears were noticeably pointed. When she manifested before petal geese in a realm devoid of light, the details of her face and the shape of her body were both obscured by pitch black mist. The mist that engulfed her form was so impossibly dark that it blotted out the darkness of the realm. In this state, Satella's eyes glowed brightly in contrast to the rest of her form. Satella has a thin body with long silver hair and purple blue eyes. When Subaru encountered her at Echidna's tea party, she wore a black dress made of shadows that seemed to wave in accordance with her heartbeat. Initially, he was unable to see her face because of a black shadow covering her above her neck, which was created out of this reluctance to accept her. However, he later accepts her and becomes able to see her face, mentioning afterward that she looked exactly the same as Amelia. In the anime adaptation, Satella's clothing deviated significantly from the description provided in the light novel. In the anime, she wore dark purple thigh-high socks with golden frills on the top, a dark purple one-piece mini dress with golden flower decorations, and a long dark veil that covered a part of her face. Contrary to popular belief, Satella and the Witch of Envy are separate personalities, formed when she took an incompatible witch factor. The two personalities tend to fight each other. Both personalities love Subaru, though the Witch of Envy's personality is much more aggressive about it, while Satella is much more reasonable and cares deeply about his well-being. According to Beatrice, Satella was starved for love before her imprisonment and was incapable of understanding human language. For unknown reasons, the witch was obsessively in love with Subaru Natsuki, who, to his knowledge, had never met her before in his life. In the realm of darkness she called home, Satella would simply sit idly and monotonously repeat the words, I love you, over and over and over again, seemingly swamped by her own obsessive feelings of love towards Natsuki. She was incredibly possessive over Subaru, as she wouldn't allow him to tell anyone else the secret of return by death. She seemed to have no remorse, nor did she pay anyone other than Natsuki heed, as she didn't hesitate to execute Amelia when Subaru told her about return by death. If the secret of return by death was learned by another person without hindrance, Satella would find a method of bypassing her imprisonment and slaughter all of Subaru's allies in that timeline, presumably as a form of strong reprimand fueled by her possessiveness. Although she usually paid no heed to the words of anyone including Subaru, she would take noticeable offense if Natsuki told her that he preferred the other witches of sin to her. 400 years earlier, Satella absorbed Envy witch factors she had no compatibility with, resulting in the creation of her Witch of Envy personality. However, this alternate personality was not the reason for her subsequently going out of control and killing countless innocent people and nearly destroying the world. Despite the efforts of many, including the dragon, the sword saint, and the sage, 
Satella was unable to be killed and was instead sealed in a shrine that is watched over by Shala. Satella is able to use the Authority of Envy, although the abilities of the Authority of Envy haven't been revealed, and the web novel Minerva mentioned during the Witch's Tea Party that Satella might direct her jealousy towards her if she stepped in between her and Subaru, suggesting that it's something that affects people remotely. Satella is able to control shadows, though it's unknown whether this is a part of her Authority of Envy. They erode and destroy all life and matter around her, as well as taking abstract things like thoughts and sometimes even memories, kind of like the White Whale. Satella is able to create shadow tendrils, which she uses to capture, impale, and decimate her enemies. The tendrils are strong enough to hold transformed Garfield in the air and incapacitate him. She is also able to slip through the shadows into someone's body through wounds and disperse them outwards, effectively destroying the opponent from the inside out. She can also create hands from her shadows, known as the Unseen Hand. She can be seen gripping Subaru's heart whenever he speaks about his ability to anyone who isn't her. Along with shadow manipulation, Satella is also capable of other powers, such as time manipulation. She's able to stop time every time when Subaru tries to tell someone about his return by death ability. However, it's unknown whether this is an authority or part of her shadow control. Teleportation is another example. She was capable of teleportation to the point of planetary travel, evidenced by when she transported Subaru across the universe to her world. The Unseen Hand is another one of her powers. When she devoured six of the other Witches of Sin, it is likely Satella gained their witch factors in the process. This is evidenced by her capability to use the Unseen Hand, a power of the Authority of Sloth, that belonged to the Witch of Sloth, Sekhmet. The Unseen Hand was a technique that allowed Satella to summon numerous invisible hand-like appendages from her body that she could move and extend telekinetically. Her version of the Unseen Hand was far more potent than Betelgeese's, whereas he could only summon up to a hundred hands at the peak of his power, Satella was capable of summoning roughly 2,000. Satella used the Unseen Hand to grasp Subaru's heart every time he told another person about Return by Death. As powers go, the last one that we know of is the Witch's Scent. Naturally, Satella had the same miasma clinging to her person as every other individual who possessed a Witch Factor. The miasma attracted mob beasts, terrifying man-eating monsters that were created by the Witch of Gluttony Daphne. Everything Satella touched was doused in her foul scent. Every time Subaru died or was threatened by the Witch, the scent of the Witch grew on him. For the anime onlys out there who just got spoiled with quite a bit about Satella, tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think she's good or bad, like everybody else tends to think? As for web novel readers or light novel readers who already know what's coming, tell me your thoughts below as well. I'd love to know all of your guys' thoughts and try to communicate with everybody on this channel. I've been broken obsessed in my otaku ways, and I will see you lovely people next time.